What you've just seen is a tiny example of what ChatGPT can do. Let me show you another one. How about that? For those of you who don't know yet, ChatGPT is the most powerful chatbot to date that is able to communicate in a conversational manner and produce thorough and clear responses that are human-like. Released only a few weeks ago, it has made waves in the marketing and SEO community and beyond and is even worrying Google about its own future, which issued a code red based on how popular ChatGPT has become in such a short time, especially since it's free to use. So why is Google so worried? Because the capabilities of ChatGPT are immense. Let's say you want to write an article on your carpet cleaning blog about the best way to remove gum from a carpet. Just ask ChatGPT. Wait for a few seconds and it will spit out a grammatically impeccable article for you. Do you need a title for it? No problem. Add further instructions. ChatGPT will use the previous output to adapt the results and write it for you. ChatGPT is not only good at producing human-like responses, but it can also code too. Let's say you need to add an HTML contact form on the page of your website. Just ask and ChatGPT will produce a flawless piece of code. Unfortunately, it also has limitations. Since this is an AI language model, it had to be trained on a set of data. The most recent set of data was in 2021, meaning the output may be outdated, resulting in the inaccuracy of information. If I ask how many times France has been in the World Cup final, the answer provided is three, when it's actually four. It's not able to provide emotional opinions. For example, if I ask, are Republicans good politicians? This is the answer I get. Despite these flaws, there are tons of possibilities to help you improve your local SEO. You should now be able to flood Google with AI-written content at scale and very quickly too, so you can rank for hundreds of new keywords and attract more customers, right? Maybe not. That would be underestimating the strength of Google. Firstly, AI-generated content is not new, and Google has made it very clear in its guidelines that the use of AI-generated content is considered spam. Secondly, Google has been working on its own language generators for some time, one of which is called Lambda. It is so powerful that Google reported in an official research paper that Lambda is able to impersonate a human and that level of impersonation may lead some people to anthropomorphize Lambda. In layman's terms, it means people will treat Lambda as if it was human. So it's fair to say that Google knows a thing or two about AI-generated content and is therefore able to detect if a piece of content was written by a human or not. And you could do that too. Let me show you how. Let's say I'm a dentist and I want to write a blog post for my website that talks about the pros and cons of dental implants. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to do it for me. Once it's done, which should take less than a minute, I'm going to copy the entire article and head over to another tool called GPT-2 Output Detector Demo. You can find the link in the description below. I don't want to go into too much detail here, but this tool is based on a model Google uses to process natural language and is able to identify if a piece of content was written by a human or a machine. If I paste my dental implant article produced by ChatGPT in this tool, you can see it is identified with almost 100% certainty as fake. So if you were to publish this on your blog, it would be flagged as spam and be a waste of your time. Does this make ChatGPT useless for SEO? Absolutely not. It's just not advisable to use it to produce content and publish it in its raw form for SEO purposes and will require proper editing by a human before publishing it. There are, however, tons of ways you can use ChatGPT results out of the box to increase your local SEO productivity exponentially and improve your business visibility on Google. Here are some of them, but before you start using ChatGPT, you'll need to create a free account, which you can easily do using an email address or a Google account. Once you've signed up, you'll be redirected to the screen where you can enter your first prompt. Let's start with an easy one, keyword research, and ask ChatGPT to generate a list of ideal keywords to target for a dentist located in Reno, Nevada. That's a good start. We could easily use these as a basis to build service pages on our dentist website. Let's now dive a little deeper into our research and ask ChatGPT to generate a list 
of semantically relevant keywords based on result number 12. How about that? ChatGPT will even suggest you can use these on pay-per-click advertising to attract more customers. Time to turn this into a content piece and ask ChatGPT to create the outline of a long-form content page based on those keywords. Just wait for the magic to happen. Within seconds, ChatGPT will generate a perfectly structured outline for your page in relation to the keyword list. Looking pretty awesome so far. Next step, we need the title for our page. Let's ask ChatGPT to generate a list of potential catchy titles that would include our main target keyword and the location. And just like that, I now have 10 titles to choose from that I can add to my page, all designed to be attention-grabbing and convey the transformative potential of dental veneers. Let's now pick an option and ask ChatGPT to generate the meta description for it while we're at it. Okay, now, I want to make my content as rich as possible, so I would also like to include frequently asked questions that are highly relevant to my keyword target on the page, and I want seven of them. And voila. In just a few minutes, I've managed to do some keyword research, created the outline for a long-form content page on the back of it, to which I was able to add highly relevant FAQs and generated a catchy title along with a meta description for it. How long do you think this exercise would have taken you if you had to do it from scratch? You could easily use this as a brief and send it to a copywriter who can produce the entire article for you. As mentioned earlier, writing is only one side of what ChatGPT can achieve. You can also use it for coding purposes. Let's have a look at a couple of instances using Schema Markup. For those of you who don't know, Schema Markup, also called Structured Data, is a piece of code you can add to your web pages to help search engines produce richer results for searchers, like in this example. Let's say you have added a bunch of frequently asked questions to a page and would like to create the structured data for it. Easy, add Schema Markup code to the following frequently asked question. Once your request has been completed, you can even copy the code and inject it directly onto your page. If you are a small business, it's advisable to add local schema to your site as well. If you don't know how to generate it, just ask ChatGPT to do it for you. Let's stick with our dentist in Reno and presuming it's open Monday to Friday from 9 to 5, Saturdays from 9 to 12 and shuts on Sundays. Let's also include his phone number, his address and his website. Once again, all you need to do is copy the code and inject it onto your site. These are only a few practical applications of how you can use ChatGPT for local SEO, which will only be limited by your imagination. So the best way for you to find out how far you can push this is to try it out for yourself. So far, I've mostly focused on SEO, but you can use ChatGPT for many other tasks to reduce your workload quite dramatically. For example, if you send promotional emails to your client base, you can quickly generate them using ChatGPT. Let's say I run a flower shop and want to capitalize on Valentine's Day and send an email to my existing customers. Instead of crafting it myself, I'll just prompt ChatGPT to do it for me. In this instance, you don't even need to worry about the fact this content is generated by a chatbot as it wasn't created for SEO purposes, so it won't be considered spam. You can use the content as is. Want to write a Facebook ad for a garage that specializes in European cars? Go ahead, it's that simple. That's all I have for you today, guys. Remember to like and subscribe.